Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I would say that uh, me coming out here doing spring ball has only made me feel better. Uh, only It's only gotten my confidence up even more just coming off of this uh, ACL, so yeah. How much have you grown mentally just dealing with the injury and having to sit out here you are now? Uh, I've grown a lot mentally. Like I've taken about like a year, just a year. April 1st made a year, so uh, this full year has just been nothing but trials, just trials and tribulations, just uh, lessons that I'm just learning from and learning more about myself than I have ever, ever in my lifetime. So, yeah. How much of a better running back do you think you can be after what you've been through? Way better, way better. I feel like, uh, you know, this isn't something that I would want for anybody, you know what I'm saying, to, to happen to. But, you know what I'm saying, if you are um, unfortunate enough to tear your ACL, you will only come out better if you do everything right and just stick to it and uh, make sure that you have a good head on your shoulders. Well, do you feel like you can be the running back you were? I feel like I can be better than that, if not. Mm -hmm. Is it a matter of, uh, in the spring, have you, have you tested it to where you want? Or, you know, sometimes it seems that first hit or something. Uh, I can't imagine you've had too many of those in the spring. And... I, I've been doing just like dud, nothing live, of course. And we haven't really had much live anyway, but I've been doing just regular dud. And I think just doing that, uh, just make, like I said, just uh, from a confidence standpoint has done a lot for me, so, yeah. The, the lateral stuff, uh, the, the cuts and stuff, that's always a big part of the run. Do you feel like that? I, that, feel, I, that feels extremely normal, very normal, very, I feel very elusive, very explosive, yeah. Can you envision how you feel when you get that first touchdown? Ecstatic, very ecstatic, very ecstatic. I would, that's, I don't even know if that's a good word. Like, is, there's a, gotta be a better word for that. That'll be an unreal feeling, for sure. You're going in the Big 12 with these with these guys. What's mm -hmm. that going to be like for you? Uh, I think that is, this is going to be really fun more than anything. Uh, you know, people just don't wake up and get to be a Power 5 team. So I think this opportunity that is really big for uh, the rest of the teammates. Oh, the, 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 I'm sorry, the rest of my teammates to uh, go ahead and take advantage of. Oh, you were real up front during your recovery, just sharing with people what you were going through. Was that therapeutic for you? Were you able to sort of you know, maybe make it a little bit, make the time go on a little bit faster. That kind definitely, of stuff. definitely, definitely gave me something to do. And just like I didn't want to disappear, you know, I'm not like I just didn't, I'm not just a solely football player. So you know, uh, showing that I'm just you know, more than just a football player off the field, and that you know, I'm doing fine during my recovery. You know, it's not taking over. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just awesome. thought it was really important. Take me back to last year. Obviously, you got injured in practice. Was it a non-contact or how, how did that go? Uh, yeah, it was just non-contact. Just made a bad cut in the backfield. Yeah, when that's where to put that. My left knee. Left knee. Mm -hmm. And can you talk a little bit about Lucas Coley and Donovan Smith and what you've seen from them over the course? Uh, Lucas Coley and Donovan Smith, we have two very good quarterbacks. Uh, very good quarterbacks. I, I don't know who's going to be our starter at all, but uh, I think that whatever it is, it's going to be uh, for the better of our team. Whoever whoever goes out there first is going to be for the better of our team, and their, the competition is only going to make our team better. How difficult was it for you last year to be patient, not try to get yourself back on the field? Very, very, very difficult. Even times when I felt like I could take a hand off right now and go get in a live game, it was very, it was definitely very difficult. But you know, it's a, it's a process, it's a long process. So I just had to keep that in mind. When Brandon Campbell signed here, he. Uh... He said one of the big things was he wanted to be in the backfield with you. Mm -hmm. You guys are finally going to get that chance. Definitely. When you look at what you guys have in the backfield between him, you've got Keelan, mm -hmm. uh, and then a couple of really talented freshmen. What, what's, what's the dynamic like So uh, our, our running back room is actually really, we're solid. I think we're the best, I always say we're the most reliable group, best group on the on the field personally. Uh, we got uh, Sneed coming back uh, and BC coming back, and of course me, and then we have, like you said, the young guys coming in. Uh, all very different, but all very extremely talented, for sure. Very extremely talented. And I think that um, you know, a group led by me uh, and a few and a few other returners. Uh, I think the sky's the limit for us. I think we can be one of the best running back groups in the nation. You look at the offense, though. You, you lose Clayton. You lose Tank. You feel like maybe the eyes will be on you a little bit more because of what yeah. you're, you're gaining, but you, you also have to replace a lot. Yeah, for sure. The eyes definitely will. And that's nothing honestly you know that's nothing the eyes are already on us where you know what i'm saying the team moving into the big 12 conference so that's nothing what would be your message to uh fans about this program heading into the big 12. uh be ready be ready we're about to excite a lot of people uh stay on your feet come support please we'll need it we'll need it for sure so yeah
think about that? I mean, you, you I mean, you've seen teams with y'all play. You got Texas coming in. You mm-hmm. got TCU. You go to Kansas State. I mean, every week is going to be like a bowl game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that be got, exciting for you, though. I mean, you, that you're getting back in time to, mm-hmm. to take. You know. So uh, yeah, uh, I definitely have a lot of time up until the season to get stronger and make sure that I'm more well equipped enough to be able to go and play against anybody honestly so uh yeah and just as far as my teammates taking them on that that'll be a really good like i said just another good opportunity like you know they're going to bring their fans we know it's going to be probably very packed out as soon as um as tcu and texas come they're going to bring their fans for sure so uh you know it's a big opportunity to put on the show now you heard oftentimes like it's almost a cliche but technology when you have a torn ACL sometimes that, or oftentimes the knee comes back even stronger. Mm-hmm. You, you sense that's the case for you? I definitely do. I feel very strong off this knee, very explosive. Uh, sometimes I like, I surprise myself the way I like, I'm, I'll just, I'll make a move and I'm like, wow, like, I didn't even realize I could do that right now. So yeah. You chose your left knee, right? My left knee, yes sir. I'm not sure if it's good genes or what, but I remember like right when you got the, the, the surgery, the doctors were already excited because they were like this, you know this guy's going to come back sooner mm-hmm. Did, mm-hmm. you mentioned not pushing that too quickly but how how soon after did you did you start really feeling like yourself again uh i would say probably towards like the middle of the season towards going towards the end uh, i was really starting to feel like a lot like very mobile uh yeah i was sprinting i was able i was working on cutting so like when i got introduced to all that i was feeling like i could go but yeah you thought of your growth within the system here I think it's been really good. Uh, just coming out here, learning a new offense, I felt really good. Uh, Birch has been helping me out a lot. Just uh, going through plays with me, just asking me questions 24-7, uh, asking him 20, uh, questions 24-7 if I need it. But I felt really good. It's, uh, at this point, I feel like uh, it's second nature to me right now. So we're just throwing in new things like that um, that Birch feels like we could do. So it's been really good so far. He said there's been some significant carryover mm. from from where you were to where you are now. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So it's a little different offense of what we run here. You know, tech is more of like throw it deep uh, type stuff. But like here, it's, um, we, we, we have a lot more options to do. We have a lot of uh, wide receivers that can get open too, uh, a line that can protect very, very well too. So we got a different type of offense uh, style of how we want to do stuff here, especially we have a great run game with Alton and all our running backs too. So, Donovan, can you talk about kind of what the factors were that, that got you to, to choose Houston over anyone and you chose to leave Yeah, just Dana, uh, first and foremost, he's the first person that hit me up. And uh, when Dawson was here too, I'm just 24 seven communication. That's the biggest thing. You know, you always want to go to a place where you feel like family, you feel like you want to be wanted. Um, So they were, they were the people that hit me up the most and just constantly. Then I'm, I'm from Las Vegas. I'm a, I'm a city boy. So this is a perfect fit for me. I love, love the food here too. So it's great. And just in terms of the quarterback room, obviously you and Lucas, mm. um, the coach was talking about how competitive mm. the spring practices have been. Yeah. What have you seen from from that standpoint? Yeah, it's great. It's great. You know, it's always keeps you on your toes. You always got to have a good day every day. You try to do your best every day because, you know, both of the, both of the, uh, your, your, you say, people in the room, they're going to give their best every day. So that uh, makes you want to be on your t- uh, top game too. For you, is there a specific area that you're coming into the spring and throughout the course once you start mm-hmm. getting into the summer that you're kind of like focusing on? Yeah, yeah. The biggest thing, uh, my footwork, just being calm in the pocket, protecting the ball as always. Um, so those are my biggest things this all spring. Since urgency with my drop is what uh, Birch, he's been uh, emphasizing with me. So since urgency with my drop, get a good base, make great decisions. So that's what I've been focusing on. Dana and the coaches have to make the call, but how do you view uh, your attempts to be the starter here and, mm. and all that goes into that? Mm. Yeah, just doing what the coaches ask you to do. You know, that's the best thing you could do, drive the ball down the field, make plays when you need to make plays and just be smart with the ball. Um, it's nothing too crazy to it. Just do your, do your job, really. Uh, encourage everybody to be a leader. That's what you got to do. Donovan, when you signed, I remember Clayton and Tank saying that they sort of helped recruit you. Yes, sir. You with the dinner and stuff like that. What, yes, sir. What, what involvement was, and how, how much did that carry weight mm-hmm. with you? Yeah, it was, it was just good. It was just a, like I was telling him, just uh, the family, how much you, you, you're wanted here. You know, those guys, are getting, they were getting ready for the draft, doing, doing big things. So just that they took the time out their day to just come see me, come hang out with me, it just meant, meant a lot. Um, and then just hang, hanging out with all of them was, it was great. It meant a lot to me. Was it the first overtime, second overtime, or third that you thought in <laughs> your mind, maybe maybe one day I'd be playing? Yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> I don't know which one, but it was crazy how I ended up here, but I'm glad I'm here. They don't give you any over that anymore. Nah, I mean, I try not to bring it up, but every time I meet somebody new, they always bring it up. So I try, I try not to, but. What's it been like working with Dana? It's been great, it's been great. You know, he's 
he's been helping you a lot. He'll be in the back of your ear just uh, giving you little things. You mess up with hey, next play, next play. So he's definitely been very helpful just uh, with little things we need to learn, or little things he sees we need to fix. He always talks to us and lets us know. For people here that may have just that small sampling of what they've seen from you, do mm -hmm. you feel like you, you know, with the you really, can really open this, this oh, yeah. up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like we have talent all around. Our O-line is very talented. Patrick Paul, our centers, everybody is very talented. Our wide receivers can get open, man, zone, whatever. But I feel like we've been gelling really well just across the board. Um, and then just elevating my game as well is just going to I just feel like we're going to be a really good team this year. Matthew Golden, somebody that yeah. you've gotten to know yeah, pretty yeah. well. Yeah, so all, all of them. Matthew Golden, he's been balling. This, Joseph Manjack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Manjack, they've all been balling. You know, you're going to see this Friday just uh, how explosive everybody is just across the whole board. I know you were confident about being here, but was there a moment on, on the field where you go, wow, this was the right decision to be here? Yeah, yeah. I think um, it was probably like our first or second padded practice, just being out there and just seeing how – like, people just get open, you know, like our wide receiver is shifty. They could, like, I keep saying get open, but they, y'all see, they'll get open uh, with any covers they got. So that just, just makes me excited just to know I, I could wait here. I could trust them to get open if I need them to, so. You're the son of a coach. How much is that? Do you think that's benefited you growing up around mm. the game? Yeah, I think it uh, helps me a lot just because, one, if you're getting yelled at, you know, constructive criticism by the coaches, you know, Birch, he'll, he'll, he'll rip you sometimes. So just knowing, like, hey, it's coming from a place of he wants you to do good, um, I feel like that helps me just be, have a calm head, just try to take in the coaching. Um, but just learning stuff from him, what he tells me in the NFL, just, like, situational stuff. And then he, he kind of talks to me sometimes, too, about uh, last year, like, my games and what he saw, what I could do better and stuff like that. So it definitely helps a lot. As the team makes the transition to the Big 12, we've, we've heard how Dana's, you know, Dana's mm -hmm. been a coach and he's been at West Virginia. But you also bring the on-field mm -hmm. you played in the Big 12. Do yeah. you think that, that helps or that gives you, mm -hmm. I don't say an edge, but just yeah. – you know, that experience. Yeah, yeah. So just uh, talking to my guys sometimes, too, uh, just about the Big 12, you know, I, I always tell them, like, it, it's a, it's another conference with a lot of great, talented dudes, but it's just it, it, everyone's out there playing football. It's not nothing too crazy where you guys are like, this will be a big step. All you got to do is just we, we do our uh, job as a team. We uh, mesh together well and just practice well. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll handle our business in the Big 12. You know they had to send you back to Lubbock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not – I'm all for that. I got no problem with that. So. That'd be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be exciting. So. Thanks, Donovan. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Well, Lucas, how's this, uh, how's this spring gone for you compared to, you know, previous year? Yes, sir. I think spring's been very beneficial. Not, I mean, we lost a lot of players, but we also gained a lot of transfers and recruits coming in. So this week, has, this few past few weeks has really been important for us as far as finding that new confidence with the new group of guys and just bonding and forming, you know, a, a unit that can go compete, you know, at a high level. So sp spring's been awesome. Can you describe your relationship with Donovan? Oh, Donovan's dope. I mean, Donovan came in, uh, all he does is work, uh, and you, you can't do anything but respect that. Competition, you know, makes us compete even more than, you know, we already are, so I I've loved it. What about your off-the-field relationship with him? No doubt. Me and Donnie, uh, we've hung out a few times off the field. Uh, Donnie, Donnie's a dope guy, you know. Nothing negative to say about him. He, he's dope, fun, uh, great teammate, so love him. Coach Burke was saying that you guys both have similar deals that you could bring to the table. Is that, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, do you think well, however they go or maybe they go with some kind of combination, it, it, it works? I mean, just what y'all can do? No doubt. I mean, as a coach, you know, you got to play the guy that you think can get the job done. And uh, I feel like me and Donnie have been pushing each other. We both raised our game tremendously since, you know, the day one of spring ball. So, you know, whatever, whoever they go with will definitely get the job done at a high level for sure. Lucas, for you, can you talk about last season? Because uh, Coach Horwitz has been talking about um, you started off uh, third or fourth, and you slowly moved up throughout the course of the season where you were the backup by the end of the season. Uh, just how that year really helped you in being able to get comfortable with Houston's offense, but seeing that growth throughout the year. Yes, sir. So last year was all about growth and learning from, you know, Toon, a guy who is soon to get drafted. And, you know, I learned a lot from him, how he handles adversity, how he handles the big lights, how he handles, you know, the easy wins, the hard losses. And um, last year was all about finding comfortability in the system, learning it, perfecting it, and, you know, building those bonds with your teammates. And that's transferred over tremendously to the spring. And uh, it, it was very beneficial coming in last year and learning from Toon. Is there a piece of advice that Toon gave you that you just kind of stuck with throughout this whole process? Yeah, no doubt. Every time I get asked this question, I have the same answer, and that's, you know, Toon never got as high as the highest high, and he never got as low as the lowest low. He was just Toon, you know. As a quarterback, your teammates feed off your energy, and Toon did a great job of staying even killed the whole time, no matter the situation. 
this Alton, I mean, it's, it's obvious, but with Alton back, what what you can do? I mean, you can yeah. slow it down. You, you control control the clock, and then you can hit a big one. No doubt. I mean, is that sort of the that, that lights you up a little bit? Oh yeah, you know, no, no yeah. doubt. I mean, Alto, you know, is all American freshman all American returning. A lot of people don't know that we, you know, we still have him, and I'm excited not only for him, but you know, we have a great group of backs. We have four and two more coming in that can go and can compete at a high level. So, you know, Alto coming back is a huge, huge boost for the morale as a team. He slowly came in. He started in the green. He just transferred to his white jersey, and uh, he actually did some thud these past few days, and he's looking great. So I'm excited. What are you sort of looking for in this spring game, just from yourself and also just off? No doubt, consistency, you know, as a unit. We, we need to be able to move the ball consistently down the field at a high level, and I feel like that starts with me, and I have to be on at the top of my game on the spring game, and hopefully, you know, we go out there and we have success. Um, Burchett said that, you know, you're very detail-oriented. Where do you think that shows up sort of on the field? No doubt. Um, I feel like everything starts off the field. You know, I, I, I pride myself on watching more film than anyone. I pride myself on being early at every meeting. Uh, every practice, any, anything that has to do with this building right here, pride myself on being early and being detailed. And that, I feel like that shows up on the field by being comfortable and being confident. Because when you do all the work on the back end, the front end becomes a lot easier. Lucas, this is such an important decision for, for them, but it's, it seems like it would probably go into August, you know, before they make the decision. Is that no, no. sort of a, uh, does that wear on you a little bit? Does that get you kind of anxious or, you know, in terms of, you know, just knowing how things are going to play out? No, nah, I love competing. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. it. Whatever it's August, you know, I'm, I'm going to just work until then, you know? Did you, the, I think it was right after the Memphis game is when you sort of, the trajectory for you. Was there one thing that you, that happened at that time? Or was there something that clicked? Or, you know how they say the light bulb went off? What was it for you? Yeah, so I was actually a three at that time last year, just still kind of getting comfortable in the system. And we did this thing called Thursday Night Football where a lot of the threes and the fours, you know, get live reps. And that way they're not getting live reps on Saturday, but they're still productive in their practices. And I, I asked Coach, I was like, let me go live. Like, let me show you what I can do. And um, I had a great practice, uh, completed a few, few passes, ran, you know, a few touchdowns. And every, after that, it was, it was on the go. Would you normally have been in that situation? Or, or I mean, because you, you said, hey, let me go. That, that would... That would have been for you at that time, those Thursday yes, sir. Thinking, or I didn't know if you had yes, sort of worked your way in. Yeah, so the first about three, four, five weeks of the season, I was repping with the Thursday Night Football okay. is what they call it. And um, after three to four weeks, you know, they're blowing the whistle as soon as anyone gets close. I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't think those are sacks. So, Coach, let me go live in this upcoming week and, you know, show you what I can do with my feet, get, escape in the pocket and making plays. So That relationship with the centers, between, you know, with you and Donovan, how's that gone with, you know, whether it's – and Pancake or? Yeah, no doubt. Jack, Jack's a guy that, Jack and Pancake. Pancake's, you know, right next to me in the locker room. Uh, Jack's a dude that I hang out with almost every single weekend. Love those guys to death. They, they work their butts off. Whoever it is, it, Jack, Jack is the one right now, obviously, and Jack is a dude who's a leader on our team, and, you know, I love him to death, and uh, he has a huge future ahead of him, and Pancake as well, you know. Pancake's doing a good job of being patient, learning from Jack. Jack does a lot of good things in that. Pancake as a young guy, you know, redshirt freshman coming up, can really learn and benefit from.